Hello kids! Today we are going to be talking about why my computer just acted weird. No, seriously. Um, today we're going to be doing a quick Q Orbiter video. First off, um, I'm going to show you guys something important that was um, brought up in IRC. I don't know if people are using attributes, but they should be. Um, as you can see, this is like a bunch of TV shows here. Buy TV show, and if you click on the TV show, it shows episodes. Granted, I don't have it broken down by seasons, but that's coming. Oh yes, that will come, but in the future. But right now, we've just got TV episodes. Anyways, this is made possible by robust tagging, and that we have all these nice little filters. So I can go from, like, say, TV shows to, like, movies pretty fast and there's all my movies and then if I want the movies by genre then I can do that too you know what I'm saying you know can't do it at say I don't know 88 miles per hour but it can be done um, but anyway so I just wanted to bring that up um, and we're working on even more and sexy ways to tag your media but you know I just wanted to say um, and also setting things like media subtype so I don't know you get uh, you know, important stuff, or you know, I mean, you guys get the, you guys get where I'm going with this. The point is, oops, I don't want that. I want music videos because I have like a lot of music videos. See, music videos. It's actually a really cool music video. I'm probably gonna interrupt it, but that's okay. Anyways, um, oh, I hate to do this. Anyways. Um, so we've got some of the stuff working. I'm going to jump back into my VM here. As you can see, we've got, uh, you know, this is the video remote. Ooh. This is the video remote. As you can see, um, I've made some changes. Not a whole hell of a lot. Just I got rid of the whole bounding box business and I'm just going to go for, I don't know, more floating over the background. Anyways, um, almost done implementing some other cool stuff, such as thumbnail grabbing. As you can see, uh, you know, I have genre dubstep electronica, that's what this belongs to. It's a dubstep video, anyways. Um, recent AV codes is almost there as well. Pretty much just working on the callbacks and making sure this is done right. You know, it's a two way, it's a round trip thing that we're working on here with the order. You got to get the data in and got to get the data back out, and it has to make sense and be done in a logical way. So it takes me a minute sometimes. Um, don't know if I showed the zoom and aspect before, but that's all here, so that's nice. Um, what else do we have for showing? Um, not else really in the much in the direction of showing. Still working on logical ways to display all of our grids and stuff like that. It's a pretty deep effing rabbit hole. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, and then in addition to these, uh, basically other sort of minor improvements, because like as you can see probably not here uh, let's find something to watch real fast nice episode of Battlestar Galactica oh yes auto resume is working so that's nice um, oh hey I should probably fix that well it did actually resume on my screen but I've actually um, that's actually an important thing I've actually figured out a way to subclass the DCE data or the DCE auto generated stuff um, to make it into a Q object, which means that I don't need the orbiter manager to have all of these extra functions that are basically just passed through to its child because I can just shoot them right directly to the subclass DCE object. And so that's why you see this because there's a lot of screens where I'd already done it one way and then made this little breakthrough and was like, oh, well, I can do it this other way and I haven't, you know, whatever. But it's actually as simple as clicking on that little error and then just clicking on DCE router. I could type in the dark that set position and that would fix the problem because everything is just referenced through DCE router the context object now anyways going to the video screen um, like as you can see it's kinda like the audio screen um, you know basically I'm just looking at the elements that I have to deal with we have a playlist here we have our home automation controls, lighting, floor plan, uh, sound, up, down, lighting, up, down, so on and so forth. Um, 
managed playlist isn't really relevant here. I mean, it would, at some point we'll use it to, it'll be added in, but the playlist element is here. Um, bookmarks is going to be a pop-up, uh, similar to zoom and aspect. Um, we have a jog function here. Um, and as you can see at the top, we have time code. Uh, so, if, you know, if I jog eight minutes, you know, obviously time code updates. Um, and then as previously shown, the whole thumbnail bit, you know, with all the various attributes and things like that that you'd be able to put on there. Uh, and then actually if we jump over to some live TV, um, I've also added a lot of buttons for like live ADV path and other things like that. Um, there's a lot of effing buttons in this system. <laughs> we cover a lot of we cover a lot of ground. So, um, but most of these buttons are hooked up, making these screens a lot more functional. Uh, anyways, getting to the other thing, which I'm going to do from somewhere else, which is, and it's not going to work exactly as intended, unfortunately. That's just because I'm not that great yet. But I'm working on being more great. Um, Previously, we were having a problem with when it would quick reload, you'd have to manually restart, which was kind of annoying. Now, when I quick reload the router, um, it just freezes up. But that's that's actually good, because you see things scrolling and things happening. It's like, oh, wait, something happened. So, you know, it basically does this, okay, something's happening, and it's supposed to go to the splash screen, but God only knows why. I don't have some asynchronous thing somewhere that's throwing the whole party. But as you can see, it stops scrolling, and it's like, oh, hey, wait, there's stuff going on. Okay, stand by, stand by. And eventually, it'll actually reset itself and come back up. So that's the nice thing. Um, and this is actually one step closer to being able to uh, put her back out, put it out there, and actually, you know, have people start using it in a usable format. So that is pretty much the last, I think, part of this video. Um, Hopefully next time it'll look a lot better. That means that someone decided to just take the initiative and start pumping me screens and buttons and all sorts of other things that make up a cohesive UI. Um, lastly, Foxy352, or just Foxy as we know him, he's been uh, kicking some ass on the telephony stuff. So you should expect to see uh, these screens, the, the screens for telephones and stuff coming in, in addition to the fully functional security screen, I might add. I don't remember my pen, and I wouldn't broadcast it on the internet if I did, but needless to say, these work. Anywho, I hope you all have a good night. And remember, attributes, they're important. Very important. And then t -Shack, well, there's a surprise coming down the pipe. I'm not supposed to say anything, so I will shut up. Good night.